Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, Tiny and Tidy. I'm Vishali, and I am determined to motivate you to declutter, simplify, and organize your home one tiny and tidy step at a time. I've lived in small spaces since my university days, and trust me, that was a long time ago. Now I still live in a small condo with a family of five. Our condo is 850 square feet, and it's a two bedroom plus den. If you'd like to see what it looks like, check out this video. Over the years, I've learned how to organize a small space. I've also figured out what furniture pieces work well and which ones don't. If you want to know what type of furniture pieces you should consider getting for a small space, then keep on watching. When I first bought my furniture, there weren't as many pieces available that are suitable for small spaces as there are today. Now there are definitely a lot more choices, and if I were to buy my furniture today, I'd make some different choices. So in today's video, I'll share some of my favorites, and also mention alternatives that you could consider. The first piece of furniture I'd like to share is our master bedroom bed. This bed is from Ikea and it has drawers underneath. If you live in a small space, it's essential to maximize the space underneath your bed. And you can do that by getting a bed with storage. When we first moved in here, I didn't think it was going to be long term, so I didn't want to invest in a very expensive bed. This is a very reasonably priced bed, so if you're looking for something inexpensive, it's a good option. This is actually our second one just like it. We had another one before in our other unit, we moved it, uh, we've had other tenants use it, so eventually it just fell apart, um, and then we replaced it with a new one. I'll link it in the description box down below. If you're looking for something more high-end, you could always invest in a custom-made bed, or stores like CB2 and EQ3 also offer great options for condo sized furniture. We also had a different bed once that completely opens up when you lift the mattress. I wouldn't recommend that option because it's pretty heavy and inconvenient to lift the mattress to access your things. Drawers are a lot easier and the way to go in my opinion. Speaking of beds, if you want to know how I keep our mattress dust mite free, make sure you check out this video. The second piece of furniture I'd like to share is our sofa. We purchased this one from Boulevard Interiors in Toronto and I'm really happy with it. I chose it because it wasn't bulky and it didn't take up a ton of space. There's also this additional piece that can be moved around and you can also use it as a love seat, ottoman or sectional sofa. I also like the wooden legs on this sofa and since it's off of the floor, I can store things underneath. I'm sure you've seen all sorts of under the bed or under the sofa storage containers, but I especially like these ones because they're more slim than most of the containers similar to these. All of the other containers that are meant to go under the bed or under the sofa did not fit under our couch because our couch isn't that high off of the floor. I also like these because they're on wheels, making them very easy to pull out. I also like that the top is clear so that you can easily see what's inside. I've linked these containers down below. If you'd like to see some of my other favorite storage containers and bins, check out this video. If I were to purchase a sofa today, I think I'd buy one with a sofa bed. When we first moved in here, we only had one baby and she slept in the den. Therefore, we had a guest room and I wasn't concerned about having a space for guests to sleep. Like I said earlier, I thought this condo was going to be a short term solution for us, so I didn't care to get a sofa bed. Also, I should mention that the reason we're still in this condo is because we ended up loving it here and realized that we didn't have to move once we discovered minimalism three years ago. So instead of buying a family home and having to service a mortgage, we decided to live small and as a result, we have been able to purchase multiple income properties and those mortgages are now being serviced by tenants. Obviously our kids will get bigger and we will eventually have to move to a bigger space. So when we feel like there's a need for it, then we will take over one of our properties and convert it into our family home. Anyway, back to the sofa. Another one I had considered buying was one that's available at Ikea. It's small, it's a sofa bed, and it also has a space for storage. I'll link it in the description box down below. Now the reason I didn't get that one is because the online reviews weren't great, but my friend has owned it for a few years now and she hasn't had any issues with it. So I definitely think it's a good option for a small space. 
Next, I'd like to talk about these shelving units. We love these leaning shelves and have used them in three different units to date. They're great because they can be configured differently to suit the room. At one point, the desk was in one of our bedrooms and now it's in the living room. They also don't take up a lot of floor space, yet they provide a lot of storage. I purchased these from Crate and Barrel about eight or nine years ago. They currently have a similar style in stock. I'll link it down below. The shelves are great because they store bins that our kids can easily access. The desk provides a small work area with shelves for books and the bar has a ton of storage space for alcohol, glasses, and other miscellaneous items can be placed in the drawer. Another option would be to get a storage unit that is all closed. This will help eliminate visual clutter. It's just important to maximize the vertical space by choosing a storage unit that goes from the floor to the ceiling. We don't have space for a dining table in our condo, so instead we opted for this folding table from Ikea. I decided to put the table on casters so that it would be easier to move it around since it is very heavy. The problem is by putting it on wheels, it made the table a bit taller. So when sitting on a chair, it's no longer at a comfortable level. We have folding chairs that are hung on the wall that we can use as dining chairs. Also, I didn't get the casters with locks, so the table tends to roll around a bit. So we don't use it as a dining table. However, we do use the drawers for extra storage and it also acts as a slim table to store a few items. And when I need more counter space or an extra table, Tabletop, I will open up one side and use that. So even though it hasn't been the ideal dining table, it's still very useful to have. If you're wondering where we eat dinner, well my kids use their small table and chairs and my husband and I just eat on the sofa with our plate on our lap. We also have these lap desks which are very useful when you don't have a dining table. As for baby Josh, he has a high chair that clamps onto the counter. The last piece of furniture I'd like to show you that has worked well in our small space is our crib. This is the Elma Papa crib and I've used it for all three of my kids. It's slightly smaller than a regular crib and it's also on wheels and can easily be folded. To be honest, we never fold it except when we moved and there isn't a need for the wheels in this condo because we never move it. In our previous unit, it was helpful to have wheels because we would roll it out of our bedroom to the living room. So it really all depends on your space when deciding whether or not you need wheels on your crib. When I purchased this crib, I couldn't find any others like it, so it was pretty pricey. However, there are now more affordable brands that make similar cribs. There's also some space beneath the crib which I use for storage, so that's really helpful. My kids' shared bedroom also has furniture pieces that I'm really happy with. If you want to know how I organize their bedroom, check out this video. So there you have it guys, those are five pieces of furniture that have worked well in our small space. We have other furniture pieces that I'll definitely be sharing on my channel at some point, so be sure to subscribe to my channel so that you'll know when I post my videos. If you found this video useful, hit that like button so that all know that you want to see more videos like this one. Also, follow me over on Facebook and Instagram because that's where I share daily tips and tricks all about organization, saving time, and simplifying your life. Next week, I'm going to be sharing must-have items that have been sparking joy in my life. So be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified when that video is posted. Also, if you want to learn how to organize your home step-by-step, -step, make sure to sign up on the Clear the Clutter waitlist. The link is in the description box down below. Once the program launches, you will be notified and provided with more information. Don't forget to hit that like button and share this video with someone that you know would find it useful. And if you like this video, be sure to check out one of these ones. They're full of tips and tricks that will help you get more organized. As always, thanks for watching guys and happy tidying. Bye!